Welcome to Drill Tip Tuesday. Here's your weekly dose of inspiration to build a creative habit, one drawing at a time. Brought to you by Sketchbook School. Last week I showed you how to draw creases and folds using a pencil. Today we'll use a simple ballpoint pen. First I'll set up a few lines that I see. Those are basically the darkest shadows of the creases. And then, just like we did in pencil, we start layering the shaded areas. Using hatching lines, then cross hatching, you can darken the shades and make a transition from dark to light. With a ballpoint pen, there are different ways to do it. You can use very light strokes like we did with the pencil, or if you feel kind of courageous, use rounded hatching lines, following the shape of the creases. If you do that, you are emphasizing on the curves. I'm just playing around here using curved, quick hatching lines for the lighter areas and cross hatching for the darker ones. Keep looking at your subject. Squint your eyes to see the lights and darks better. And the more areas you fill in, the more you will see which areas need more emphasis on the shadows. Keep adding to those darker areas and you'll create the sense of depth you need for those creases. Work your way from fold to fold, from crease to crease and so on. Have a go at it. Try different kinds of pens and see what their limitations or benefits are. With some practice and patience, you can do this. Have fun! And if you'd like to learn more, go to sketchbookschool.com and sign up for one of the classes today.